We have Dr. Rachel Ross here this morning. Dr. Rachel Ross. We are focusing on all things love today with Dr. Rachel Ross. As an MD, PhD, and author, Dr. Rachel Ross has been Chicago's authority on sex, relationships, and women's health for years. Well, you, you know, I practice family medicine. But you really want to <laughs> smear <laughs> I know the same stuff that burns as you're brushing it on your wound. What the Alka-Seltzer is going to do is take away the pain and make you feel better. So now you're dancing around town with the urinary tract infection. She, by the way, you, she is over there like you that. You don't end up in the, in, in the doctor's office till, right. it's a, till it's a bad situation. And all it's doing is, is masking a situation. Actually, sexology and family medicine really go hand in hand because it's, it's about families. Sexology is like the study of sex and everything that goes with it. So kind of like the who's, the why's, the how's of sex. She knows Americans everywhere need the information and she's here to deliver it. Women forget that, you know, our bodies are kind of designed similarly. So some of the same areas that turn you on will actually turn your guy on. Believe it or not, 45% of all Americans admit to having had a one-night stand. So when you couple that into the equation, more people are doing this than actually admit. If you're in it with the guy and you're not, you know, you're really not there, the worst thing you could do is start, you know, being very dramatic, making lots of noises, <laughs> screaming his name. You know, that's a huge turn off. And that's a turn off for anyone. First thing about being healthy is you have to be comfortable with it. You know, like if there's something that you're doing sexually that just doesn't feel right or something about it doesn't make you feel good on the inside, it's not healthy. The problem is, as Americans, as a society, we're really afraid of honesty. So it's really difficult for us to have these conversations with each other about sex and about love. Shocking topics without an offensive undertone. Well, you did a, a phrase in the movie that I was so astonished by called Ladywood, and it basically meant that you were excited. What is Ladywood? Now, Brittany, I think you, you as a doctor can yeah. break down the physical things that happen sure. to a person's body yes. when they get that. Yes. A surge of... Your surge of testosterone gets a guy Blood that and morning... A and, uh, yeah. That morning erection. And so women, I guess it's a, it's a surge of estrogen and testosterone for the lady ones. Oh, I get to double down on that. <laughs> you pay attention to his breasts, you know. People forget that guys have sensitive areas on their breast ah. in the middle, located a little darker than the rest of the surrounding <laughs> area. But that's a very hot spot for guys that a lot of people forget even exists. Yeah, because you go straight for the exactly. main, main attraction as opposed to the appetizer. Exactly. Is that what we're saying? Exactly. A lot of times young people don't get the information that they need, and so this actually helps. And when I look at my Twitter followers and I'm following them, it's just so interesting to see like, college students, you know, using my information and advice and really like, you know, th this lady knows what she's talking about. So it's very exciting to me to be able to reach so many people and actually mold the way the relationships are going and the, the way they handle sex, particularly safer forms of sex, um, which, you know, everyone's taught to wrap it up. That's the extent you get. Wrap it up and get on birth control. And so, you know, DrRachel.com and myself, we just really try to disseminate very helpful and useful information that people can use. Let's talk about healthy on both levels. One, mentally, mm -hmm. and then two, just in terms of STDs oh, and yeah. catching something. So anytime you're involved casually with someone, you know, your guard may not be quite as up as it should be. Mm. So really, you should be having sex with people you know they don't have an STD, you know they don't have HIV, so that's always important. But two, particularly for women, women fall into this a lot, where you become kind of victimized as this friend with ben benefits, this booty call, and in the back of your mind you're thinking, oh my God, is he going to is uh, he want to be my, my boyfriend, or is he going to want to okay. marry me? Love, health, and relationship information delivered to you the way you want to see and hear it. Get ready for Dr. Rachel.